Transparent bridging has three major functions. It learns where MAC addresses are located relative to the physical segments they're attached to. It forwards and filters frames intelligently to avoid loops which can create things such as broadcast storms. Here's how bridges learn the locations of the hosts that they're supposed to intelligently forward frames to. We can see we have various Ethernet addresses here on our local area network, which is separated by a bridge. And by learning where frames are being transmitted from, our bridge has picked up the fact that these two MAC addresses are located out here on Ethernet 0 and that these two MAC addresses are located out here on Ethernet 1. In this example, this node here wants to transmit a frame with this as a destination address. It's not on the local segment, so the bridge will have to perform the forwarding. And because the bridge has this MAC address in its bridge table as being attached to Ethernet 1, it will hear that frame on Ethernet 0 and forward it out to Ethernet 1. Other nodes will also hear that frame, but they will not listen to it because they are not seen as the destination address for it. In this instance, this node here is actually transmitting to this node here on the same segment. As a result, the bridge also hears that frame, but it realizes that this destination address is also on Ethernet 0, so it will not attempt to forward it out Ethernet 1. In this way, you can logically segment Layer 2 traffic flows, and this greatly increases Layer 2 scalability, especially in Ethernet networks, which are very much prone to collision problems when too many nodes are on a single segment.